In this video, we are going to be taking a look at portable monitors. So I have two that I have here from Amazon and I have one that is that you could get if you have an iPad Pro. Uh, so I've had these monitors when I've been traveling across the country and I have two of them that I've bought, one for myself and one for Michelle. And this one is the 13 inch that I have right here showing the 13 inch 2K monitor. I just wanted to do kind of quick takes on it and then also talk about how you could get a quote unquote free one if you have an iPad. Um, so really just looking at this one, it has almost 2K resolution, but only 60 Hertz. I think ideally um, if you're seeing on screen compared to if I was to bring this over, let's say to my main screen on this LG uh, G15, you have 144 Hertz and then the, 100, uh, the 60 Hertz kind of takes away from some of the immersion, but I do like that it's a 2K screen at 13 inches. Um, so overall, I like the form factor compared to, I have this one I'm gonna showcase next, is the 15 inch version, which is 144 hertz, but it's only 1080p. So let's go ahead and connect that and then talk about the differences of the devices. This one is a bigger screen, still fits in your backpack. The screen size here of the G15 is 15 inches, this is also 15 inches, so if I didn't have it propped up, it would kind of match the same size. And it is 144 hertz here, so um, I'm going to try and do an overlay uh, in post uh, later in this video where we look at the scrolling. Um, and even though the Sony A6000 that this camera is recorded on is at 60 FPS, um, you still can see a difference between the two scroll speeds. So here, let's see, let's get this one over here. This is the 2K. So both of these should be scrolling at 144 hertz, and I can visually see it with my with my eye that they are. And then we'll do the comparison between the two. Uh, but overall, it's a 1080p screen, which you kind of lose resolution. I think the best, in my opinion, if they came up with a new version, I, I might search this. Um, if it was a 13 inch 2K screen that was 144 hertz, that would probably be. Um, the best option but when you get this device from amazon you can see one i purchased in july then the next i purchased in november um i think the smaller one is lighter and kind of better if you're trying to do light traveling but this 15 inch one still fits perfectly in a backpack and if i was deciding between the two if they had that version that was 13 inch and 100 uh, 2k at 130 uh, for 44 hertz that would be perfect but i don't think they have that at the moment so they're still like 14 inch this is the 2k one i think i got which is only 60 hertz then they have a 4k one actually but it's only 60 hertz so um you know depending on if you guys need that fast refresh rate or not the differences between them is up to you one's 150 and then the other is basically the same price at 160 um, and in terms of the differences between the two I would say that if I bring it up side by side you kind of see you know, obviously 13 inch was 14 inch but they try to use the same mechanism let me see if I can get this on screen this mechanism here which is a detachable magnet that they use to go across I think the 15 inch is better because like this one doesn't really fold back and you'll have to like detach here and sometimes it could slip out but also on this glass surface oops it kind of like slides because it's smaller less grip area versus the 15 inch um, so just something to consider between these devices now let's take a look at the third option if you have an ipad pro okay so i had been talking like you need an ipad pro you actually don't but um you, you just need an ipad uh, or technically it could work on your iPhone as well, but there's a software called Duet that once you load it on Windows, download it, launch the app on both the Windows and or PC, it will launch Duet. There was a new update that came out that makes it supposedly faster and you could choose which uh, settings to which settings to run it from. Let me change something real quick so that's on the right side, then we'll talk about it. So Duet, runs at uh, various settings. I have a screen capture here. Okay, so Duet runs at 60 FPS, even though this iPad Pro can run at 
higher than that. You can choose the resolution and you have several options for performance. Um, so they give you here these statistics and it says that it's four second frame encode time and four second millisecond. So I think that's pretty good um, comparatively to these monitors that I paid for. So if you already have an iPad laying around and you have either an NVIDIA card or an AMD card, um, you're able to choose which encoder to use. Um, but we can take a look at the camera test again, running at 60 FPS and doing the scroll. Um, it's, I would say it's very usable as a machine and depending on how your device performs, uh, definitely a good option for using an old iPad or even your current iPad, connecting it up and using Duet to be a portable monitor. So definitely a good option. Uh, that could save you some money if you don't want to pay for these Amazon links. Um, but overall, I, I would still, when traveling, depending on how much you want to use in your bag, could either use the 13-inch 2K, which looks crisp on the screen. I would say the iPad does look kind of crisp, but not as crisp as um, using the external monitor. So if you want some info on how to use Duet, I made a previous video, I'll link in the description, and I'll also leave links to these two monitors that I covered in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.